Hey guys, in this video I show you how to plot your data using Excel's uh, data function. So if I go to the insert tab and I go to charts, what I want is a scatter chart. And you can see this comes up blank. So then I can right click or I can click select data. And I'll right click and go to select data. And I'll add the series name. This will be speed of sound my x values I'm going to be plotting on the x-axis the period so I will click drag highlight these x values my series y values are going to be the average wavelengths so I drag those I click OK and OK again and now I want to add some chart elements axis titles and so this is where I can click and this will be titled period, the symbol is T, and slash units or seconds. This axis title, this should be wavelength. The, un the symbol for wavelength is lambda, so to get the lambda I'm going to go to insert symbols. And I look under Greek and Coptic subset, and here I have lambda. Insert, close and close parentheses slash for the unit is meters here and I want to add an element trend line and then I go to I click this little black arrow I scroll down to more options and this comes up instead of the paint bucket or the Pentagon effects I want these trend line options these bars and I scroll down until it reads display equation on chart and from the slope of this line you should know what to get I also need to add my error bars so I'm gonna click the green arrow again and I'll go to error bars and you can see all these error bars come up I don't have uncertainty for my uh, time values because I'm assuming these frequencies were correct so instead I'm going to delete them by clicking at least one of the horizontal error bars and then I click the delete button and then I'm going to format these error bars so just by clicking them I have format data series come up let me try and make sure okay by clicking the vertical error bars and making sure I have this the, the green bar selected I can scroll down and I'll go to custom I'll specify a value in this case my positive error bars is 0 0.002 and my negative error value is 0 0.002 okay so you can see that these error bars are too small to show so in my uh, in word after I copy and paste this graph inside I'll make a little note underneath I'll type error bars too small to show Thank you for watching. On the next video, I'll show you how to make a table in Excel using your data. Thank you.